Good morning. It's always exciting to be part of the Spark Summit, seeing the passion from the audience, and hearing the latest technology trends. I want to start with congratulating the Spark community for the amazing success in last several years in leading and accelerating transformation in this era of data analytics and artificial intelligence. We all acknowledge that big data presents transformative opportunities, and analytics will be the number one workload in the data center. The challenge is. Analytics applications need to analyze large collection of data, extract complex data representations, and inference patterns in order to generate the business insights. As the data volume grows exponentially, it's getting more and more complicated to discover such patterns. Artificial intelligence can help solve the problem. Thanks to its ability, inspired by biological processes, for hierarchical learning and layered data abstraction, AI started in the 50s. It is slowed in the 70s. It's getting revived in the recent years, largely due to the fast increase in computational power and availability of big data. AI is getting more easily applied. To solve real problems nowadays in different business segments, such as healthcare, automobile, industrial, and retail, Intel's goal is to accelerate AI opportunities for our customers and partners. During November Intel's AI Day, we shared with the industry our overall strategy. At the silicon level. We have very aggressive product roadmap for improving our training performance, cost effectiveness, density, and programmability. At the deep learning framework level, we're driving Neon, as well as applying Intel optimized math kernel library to existing open source deep learning frameworks like Cafe, TensorFlow, Torch, and Tiano. For customers and developers who have the preference of using these optimized frameworks, you can access them directly or through Intel Deep Learning SDK. For big data and analytics customers who have the preference of doing deep learning in their existing infrastructure, we're driving Spark and Hadoop as the unified data analytics platform. Supporting end-to-end -end learning pipeline development. In the next few minutes, I'm going to focus on this area. As we work with many of our analytics and AI customers, their needs for AI have a few visible trends. First is customer experience, or ease of use. Customers and developers want to conduct deep learning. In the same cluster, with the data processing pipeline, in order to easily integrate with feature engineering and traditional machine learning, this approach helps to eliminate the data or model movement between two different hardware clusters, and easily integrate with the existing data analytics application or platform. The second need is deep learning at a scale. Customers and developers want to feed their deep learning with more and more training data for much improved training accuracy. Many choose to build deep learning on top of a big data platform in order to harness the large volume of training data and easily scale out deep learning. The third need is lower cost of ownership. Customers always want to avoid unnecessary cost. They want to leverage their existing infrastructure for deep learning, rather than standing up a separate and brand new cluster. The fourth need is performance. 
For instance, customers want to reduce their training cycle for deep learning. We have been working really hard to figure out a way to effectively address all these needs. We believe Big DL is the answer. Big DL is a big data-based deep learning. And we open sourced it a month ago, as Doug Fisher committed during Intel's AI Day. It is a distributed deep learning framework organically built on Apache Spark. It has several significant offerings. First, it has feature parity with existing open source deep learning frameworks like Cafe and Torch. And second, it provides easy customer experience. It, drive, it drives Spark and Hadoop as the unified data analytics platform, giving customer and a developer the consistent and integrated experience for data management, feature engineering, traditional machine learning, and deep learning workloads. It eliminates the need of setting up a separate cluster for AI. It also eliminates the need of moving data or models between different clusters, and it helps to reduce the total cost of ownership. And next, this large-scale distributed deep learning framework organically built on top of a big data platform enables efficient scale-out, fault tolerance, elastic and dynamic resource management. Today, big DL can scale up to tens or hundreds of nodes easily. And last but not least, it offers high performance at a single node by leveraging Intel optimized math kernel library. On single node Xeon, its performance is orders of magnitude faster than out of the box open source cafe, Torch, or TensorFlow. We're already working with a couple of early adopters and implemented Big DL in production. The first use case is with the steel industry. We're improving accuracy for steel surface defect recognition is very important to its production and quality control. We worked with the customer, implemented an end-to-end -end image recognition pipeline using Big DL and Spark. The customer was able to improve its defect recognition accuracy to 90% just through phase one work, and it improved its yield rate. The second use case is with a financial services company, where the customer sees its fraud risks were increasing tremendously with its wide range of products, services, and customer interaction channels. The customer implemented an end-to-end -end learning pipeline using Big DL and Spark again, and improved its fraud detection rate by 40 times just through phase one. Not only working with our customers, we're also collaborating very closely with our industry. Uh, not only working with our customers, we're also working with Databricks and partners like Databricks. And today, Big DL is already working in the Databricks platform. In other words, anyone can spin up a Spark cluster, ingest the data, extract the features, train the model, and do the prediction with Big DL in Databricks. In, if you're interested, feel free to check out the engineering blog at deadbricks.com, and you can get started. We're thrilled with what Big DL can do to our customers and developers. And we ask our community for wide collaboration and contribution. If you are interested in knowing more, please join our technical session or visit our demo booth. I also have a quick acknowledgement at the end. You know, Intel is a leading sponsor for women in big data. This forum was started a year ago with the goal of inspiring, connecting, and growing success of a woman 
in big data. In the past year, it attracted more than 2,000 women professionals from the big data industry. And yesterday, the forum had a very successful meetup at the Spark Summit event with great participation. We want to thank you for your continuous support. With that, enjoy the rest of the event. <laughs>